it has been very tough out there in the field. But despite that, there are a number of achievements uh, that the business has delivered. Uh, gross flows are up 10%, NCCF up 9%, and our top line is up 18%, driven surprisingly by customer demand, but specifically for our low price funeral insurance through our non-advised channels. And our underwritten uh, risk sales have also been up 89%. And productivity across all channels has been very satisfactory. And you know, from a back office perspective, the guys that have helped us with premium collections have been very good when it comes to new business premium collections. And if you look at our VNB margins, they've been mm -hmm. quite healthy at 8.9%. One thing that Casper and Ian didn't tell you is the fact that out of that 937 million of VNB, 65% of that is MFC. And that's all thanks to the channel diversification strategy that we implemented about three, four years back, which have seen the business regain its market share and it's punching, you know, in accordance with its weight. And our operational results are testament to that. True. However, as you said, persistency has been quite a challenge. And as a result of that, we had to strengthen our provisions in order to, you know, to, to, to navigate the difficult environment that is ahead of us. Mm -hmm. And that have had an impact on our profits. And similarly, from a credit performance perspective, we had a you know, few hiccups here and there, but the book is quite solid. And that is testament to our conservative approach that we adopted a few years back. And we have been very much prudent in terms of managing that uh, credit space. And you can see it through our impairments. They are better than any of our competitors. If you go to our competitors' results, their impairments grew by 240%, mm -hmm. 82% in certain instances. But ours, they were well managed. And it's all thanks to the work that we have done over the years. And with that, I'd just like to thank the MSC team for this solid delivery that I've spoken to. Because the business in, is in a far stronger position today than it was eight years ago. If I may just give you an example. Eight years ago, about 56% of our sales were saving sales. And one of my colleagues was saying to me, you guys were destroying value there. And when you look at the business today, 70% yeah. of the sales are risk sales. And that is massive profits that are going to come into the future. That's it safe. might look bad today because we are in a very bad cycle, but we will come out of that bad cycle. We have built a profit machine. And Old Mutual is going to celebrate the business into the future. One thing that they need to celebrate, they know that we have done an acquisition of two mountains. The competition tribunal have given us approval. We're just waiting for the last approval from the Prudential Authority. And once we get that business going, our issues around persistency will be solved.